Illinois, Missouri, Alabama, and other states around the country are dropping First Lady Michelle Obama's school lunch initiative, but not the PUSD. In fact, U.S. Congresswoman Judy Chu visited Pasadena School earlier this week, holding up as a model for such federal lunch programs. CCN's Tony Mead has more. Congresswoman Judy Chu, along with other guests, will eat lunch with the students of Cleveland Elementary. Local dignitaries and Pasadena Unified School District board members and administrators spent lunch time with U.S. Congresswoman Judy Chu and a federal official with the USDA at Cleveland Elementary to highlight the school's food program. PUSD Administrator of Child Nutrition Ralph Passett says it's important for the school to provide healthy meals for students during the school day and that Cleveland offers several ways to do so. We have the school breakfast program, the national school lunch program, after school snack program, as well as a supper program that we're implementing this school year. We also have school gardens in 13 of our school sites. Pizza is one of the fresh foods PUSD schools offer, along with burgers and a full salad bar. Here at Cleveland Elementary, they also allow students to eat different foods and herbs they grow in their garden. PUSD's health program coordinator and rector says having gardens at the school makes kids more inclined to eat healthy foods. My program is called Farm to School or Farm to Table and it gives the kids the practical experience of seeing the whole cycle of food and where it comes from and it makes them more likely to try it and I believe in the slogan, if you grow it, you will eat it. Chu and the USDA chose Cleveland as a model of success for using the National School Lunch Program Act implemented in 2010 by First Lady Michelle Obama. While some school districts nationally are dropping the program because some kids complain of being hungry and not liking the foods provided. Chu says adopting community eligibility provision program allows schools to be certified for free lunches and that every student gets to eat. The other very dramatic thing was that it improved the healthiness of the meals that uh, were served to the kids and I'm anxious to see how that's working out. It increased the amount that was given per lunch for the kids as well, so it provided more adequate compensation. The National Lunch Program supports 97,000 public schools and feeds about 30 million students, who often get roughly half of their daily calories in the cafeteria. Pasadena Unified School District will continue to promote healthy eating habits within their schools. In Pasadena, Tony Mead, CCN.